Oh, this could be good. I mean, I hadn't actually... I don't keep track on when stuff for Battlefield 1 is released, so... Hell yeah, this is, this might actually be good. The River Psalm and... Oh, this could be really good. I mean, we're talking of Air Assault? No, we're not gonna play any of that, but we're gonna play some... Uh, let's see, Additional Lost Pass, Domination... Rush. No, we're actually gonna go with Conquest and the new mode Apocalypse. I can't pronounce that correctly. So sue me. Oh, what's the price of a mile? The Battle of Passchendaele. Oh, I've been waiting for this one to get into uh, Battlefield 1. Oh god, Passchendaele was one horrible battle. Uh, half a million men died. And what, what, for what? A few miles of ground changed hands. So this is, this is going to be very interesting. Let's see here, we can join Charlie. We're going with George squad. And I'm actually kind of keen to see what guns have been added. The Howl Automatic Factory. It's actually a reliable automatic conversion of a Lee Enfield bolt rifle. Let's see, we need to howl automatic factory. We need 50 kills with that. And we need 50 kills as a medic to unlock that one. Yeah, but let's do it. What's the price of a mile, lads? I suppose we're about to find out. Your wounds have been fixed. He's down. Let's help our mates. Well, that's two kills towards that weapon. So, we're just gonna keep on going, fight, and try and retake position apples. The British Empire must hold this ground. I really li like the fact that I don't actually have to use a specific weapon to get those kills. Because that has been the annoying thing about weapon unlocks in the past. We have lost objective Charlie. So instead, we can use pretty much whatever weapon that we feel is warranted for the situation. That's a hell of a lot better if you ask me. Need to watch out for the enemy. They are sending snipers our way. And I think they might actually be attacking. We got a nice hit, but we didn't get more than that. I'm gonna switch out my weapon, see if I have something. I could use the Mondragon, of course. The Mondragon is pretty nice. Or I could use the Sweeper. Yeah, we're gonna go with the Sweeper. As far as um, I remember, it. Yeah, that didn't work out the way I expected it to. Uh, uh, it appears they've also added some sort of talent system. I wonder what that is all about. Um, I'm gonna see if there is... Oh, wait, it's just those things. You can now see what people have picked in regards to that system. So we're gonna pick the sweep instead. Uh, more volume of fire, less accuracy, that sort of thing. I would suspect an enemy sniper to be somewhere around here. Oh, come on! That's 122 hits into the guy! That's... I call unfair. Besides, it looked almost looked like he fucking teleported. Never mind. Let's just get on with it. I'm gonna see if I can outflank the guys. I mean, this is a very deep trench right here. And 
Digital Illusions rain system is really coming out nicely here. This is this looks fantastic with all the mud and rain and stuff like that. Into cover. See how much. We have taken objective duff. Gas grenade. First aid. Take it. Apparently, we're not supposed to run in this direction, but running in this direction got us a few free kills. Yeah, I think the sweeper is the way to go. The enemy is currently on apples and are gonna keep on assaulting apples, so... It looks like our price of a mile will be who owns apples at the end of the round. We have lost objective apples. Yeah. Grenade out. <sighs> it will be difficult for us to try and get them out of that position at this point in time. Let's see if we can spawn on Bravo and I hope it's not too late. He's down. They know I'm here now. And we suffered horrible, horrible defeat. Yeah, River Somme? Holy fuck, they also got the Battle of Somme as a Battlefield 1 map? Hell, this just got better and better. Very happy to see people vote for it as well. It is really the one I wanna... I wanna try, so... We didn't do all that well, but we did well enough. And let's see, we ended up at the bottom of the pack with 6-6. Six, six. six kills, 6 deaths. So a one to one kill death ratio. The River Somme. I mean, the Somme and Passchendaele are two of the worst battles in the war. Oh, and we're to Germany now. <laughs> We're German and gonna have to fend off the assault at some. I'm gonna take this moment to see what other new weapons have been added. Uh, let's see here. The SMG. Yeah, but they seem to be all centered around just, just get 50 kills with your class. And here we have the low weights. LMG 08. Since we're gonna just hold here, I think we're gonna pick uh, the Sebstlaut uh, factory, and so we at least have a German weapon, you know? We are losing objective apples. We got him up. Throwing our grenades. Wellington Farm is in the hands of the enemy. Reloading. This is where we need to cost the enemy casualties. On the first battle of the River Somme, the British attacked with untrained members of what was then called Kishner's Army. It was basically reserve and militia troops, and they got absolutely slaughtered. And now we are the ones holding the line against them. The PAL battalions will die this day. Arlington! Arlington PALs are in the field! Take them out! That feels morbid. Well, Arlington PALs was one of the prime examples of the PALs battalion. Where 
the male population of the town of Arlington was decimated in 10 minutes. They all signed up to fight together. That was the entire idea behind the PALS battalion. And you can pretty much see what happened. Oh, look, road bike. I'm actually gonna get something that has a bit of magnification behind it. Uh, we're gonna go with the Mondragon Optical. And we're gonna hold the line. And we failed horribly at that. Let's see if we can take up the line. Where the British come to die. Ah, crap, they're firing on us. Let's refill some ammo. Get some. Ah, crap. The enemy artillery fire is breaking up our trenches. But not in the rate the enemy wants it to happen. Also, our mortars are doing it. The Lord's work. We need to put some more fire on those land ships. And make sure we revive all our squad mates in this area. The enemy ha apparently have gas launchers at... Uh, at uh, their main base that they can use to engage while in the And that is a good tool for them to deny the counter-attack. We should stay in the trench. Trying to get up from the trench is pretty much a fool's errand at this point. Let's see if, if the enemy is coming to this direction. They are not, but we need to be... Oh, belay that. One more down. It's kind of nice to see the British place like, Oh, we don't have a chance! We don't have a chance! Yeah, the boys attacking us. The boys attacking uh, during the war did not have much of a chance either for that matter. He's down. Good show. I mean, it feels a bit morbid to be cheering about being the defenders of some, but hey. The enemy have a very large area they have to basically just run across. Incoming! It's going to be interesting to see if we switch sides after this one. Objective Edwards has been reclaimed by... Reload and take him. We need to get the weapon. A 
look, what we're doing is not camping, it's called defending with all our firepower. Cover. Come on. You are a me thank you. We got him. And we're hit. We need to keep holding that line. As, so, as long as we can hold the line, we hold the game. But I think the line is actually weakening. Second line, by the river. Yes, we got the guy. We're doing fairly well in our quest to get 50 kills and a new medic weapon. Let's cross the river and counterattack the trench line. Our counterattack did well until we died. Holy crap, we are back in the thick of it. And of course, my first idea was that, hey, I should reload. Because, you know, reloading when the enemy might just be from across the hill is a great idea. We're gonna enter the trench and gonna wait. No, we don't have time for, to wait for the gas to disappear. At least we died charging the enemy. I don't think a medic is gonna reach us here, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. This part of the flank is still holding. <sighs> when it starts going badly, it starts going badly in a big way. I'm gonna see what... Oh, apparently these are the new ones. You can you can pick you can pick between them. Uh, yeah, we're gonna pick those. I have no idea what they do, but you you can pretty much pick and choose between them. Stay down. Drop some more me field kits and see if we can't hold the trench. We're clear to advance. Grenade out. Prep to charge. Oh, that is one mean pony. A very mad pony, indeed. The pony does not approve of our actions. Let's see if we can't switch weapon to... We could pick the... The Automat Trench. It's not as good in long range, but... We are pretty much switching to the short range combat right now, so... It will most likely be the, a better weapon. And if not, we can always wait to change back. Oh, come on. Ah, he had far more ammo than we did, so not much to do about that. 
But if I'm going to be in assault, attacking this objective next map, uh, I am going to be support. I don't care about medic, I'm going to be support. Because the support here is going to have a field day. We didn't get the guy, and they are heavily entrenched in that, well, trench. Uh, I think I'm switching back to, we can't have the hill, I don't, uh, yeah. I think I'm switching back to this gun, we did well with it. Land fort. Oh, sorry, land ship, but basically the same thing. We need to cause as many casualties to the British as we can on their advance, and right now they are gonna overtake that trench. While we are causing the enemy heavy casualties, they are advancing, and that's not good for us. Counter counter artillery from the enemy. Let's lie down and shoot anyone who stands up. The enemy is taking heavy casualties trying to exit the trench and cross the river. The river is going to be our next defensive work and it's going to be a good one. I mean, the trench we used here was pretty much just a delaying outpost. This is where we really started to put the herd on the guys. I just need a good place to stand, stand and shoot from. I think I, we are, I am far more visible than I think I am. I'm gonna sneak down a bit, see if that helps. Yeah, that land ship got me dialed in. As long as it keeps shooting on where I, it think I am, I'm fine with that. Land ship destroyed. And the bridge has been destroyed as well. Counter-attack. Push the British from our trench. Throw the grenades. Here we go. We've retaken the trench. Good show, lads. Throw the grenades! We might even be... Ah, nah. We did not get to take back Wellington Farm. I had kind of hoped that we might be able to, but no. The land ship is heading for B. If they take B, we're fucked. Storm the trench. We need to pick up our mites. Here you go. Medkits. Too late. And we're dead. Very, very dead. And we need to hold Bravo as well, because Bravo's gonna fall at any second now. And if Bravo falls, they'll have a real shot at actually 
turning around this thing. But let's go for the field gun. Loading the field gun. Shot! Over. Yeah, it's ours now. Victory! Let's go back to Passchendaele. Apparently people is not very fond of this game. I don't actually know anything about Copperetto, but I'm eager to try it out. Once again, I'm not in the best squad. But we got a few ribbons and stuff like that, so it's not all bad. We are second in handgun kills, third in semi-automatics, four in medding scores, and fourth in adventure kills. At least if I'm interpreting, interpreting that correctly. 16 kills and 13 deaths. So let's see what the third map is all about. I think we're gonna pick the medic around medic again, but this time it is our duty to engage the enemy in a mountain pass. Um, and we need to most likely just keep fucking push. We can do that. Aurora Lookout. I don't know anything about this this uh, battle, so I'll probably have to look it up on Wikipedia once this game is done, because I will be most interested to hear about it. Enemy fire! Suppress the enemy and move up. Kill them all. The weapon is not accurate at that range. We need to relentlessly push. Uh, if we get bogged down, they're just gonna hit us with air power, artillery. Pretty much everything, you know. Once we've taken A, we just keep it, keep it moving from there. Where did it go? Let's help that guy up. And we're hit. It looks like for the close quarter section we might actually need the automat. Crap! I didn't have time to throw a grenade in there. If I just had the time to get a grenade in there, I might have actually been able to get some results. And our attack have stalled. Officially stalled. With mo most people on the front line currently dead. There's not much to do but to try and do it all over again. And that is the problem. Uh, since you can't coordinate the attacks, the big problem begins when when uh, the attack is very scattered. Apparently, these kinds of grand assault trench maps seems to be the running theme of the expansion. I can't really complain because I mean we were the ones defending last round, so. It's all fair in that regard. 
Soll ich dich wieder zusammenflecken? Damit kommst du auf die Beine. My only worry is that it will affect how many kills I'm able to get with my medic, since I really want that Lee Enfield uh, fully automatic conversion. Uh, let's see if... yeah, I'm gonna switch back to the Mondragon op Optical, and I'm gonna see also if there's actually a Marksman version. I'm actually gonna unlock that and see what's, what it's all about. Uh, let's see here. Chevron reticle, 4x magnification, no bayonet. And not a Kron Prince, but. Oh, we have good guys on our team. People who are dedicated to doing the flank. Let's take uh, D and hold it and see if we can use it to snipe at the enemy. Now, the sniper configuration of this weapon looks a bit like uh, the M1 Garand in that it makes sure that the optic does not cover the ejection port. And that requires a specific optic for the rifle, since otherwise you'll just aim at the side, so... Ah, crap, we are taking fire. I say again, we are taking fire from behind. D is ours, and since D is ours, we can now out easily outflank the rest of the enemy, or at least that's the plan. The problem is now that we le leave D pretty much undefended, and that will be the problem. Because if the enemy can now... <laughs> On the ground. Usually it's just enough to duck out of sight and people will s stop engaging you. Let's stabilize our shooting platform, see if we can't... Got him. We lost Duff, but hopefully we can trade it for Butters. A coherent battle line is better than... What's with all the gallows? Oh, that was not the best idea. We got a, quite a few with uh, our rifle there before they caught on what what was happening. That was an excellent defensive position. And hopefully we can take it again. He's down. Unfortunately, he had friends. Where the fuck did that shot come from? We need to move up to Butters and wait a minute. Close to the A gun. Fairly certain I saw movement there. Oh, look, the attack plane was shot down by three rounds from a sniper rifle. Yeah, I know that's not true, but it's the, it's the fun way to interpret things that matter sometimes. I'm actually going to run back to the AA gun, and we're going to use it against that attack plane. The vehicle is disabled and destroyed. Nice.
Insufficient. We gotta hit it. Crap. That's a bad call of you. Another one bites the dust. I mean, this gun is perfectly hidden for those sort of ambush. Where the fuck did they go? Got him. Second guy is also engaging me. We got him. Nice. Oh, come on! I almost had the guy. I mean, dueling a horse and a guy on foot. Uh, they're going bravo. And... We're, we're just securing Alpha as well, so Bravo is currently vital. Fucking vital. There's no way in hell that that guy would have lived through a 45, but hey. Uh, at least we gained some ground and regained a coherent battle line. So let's see if we can't put some more rounds down on Bravo from here. Hopefully we will be able to. Target. Got him. We need 20 more kills with this thing. He's down. I mean, that marksmanship rifle is not bad. I mean, it's actually pre a pretty neat thing to have as a medic. Let's see. Yeah. He knew we were there. The RSC 1917 optical. That's the. Th I think that's the thing we're actually trying to unlock. So some of the people here had had much more success with this than we have. But at least there's no shortage of targets, am I right? Compromised. Oh, we were actually shot by a guy with the same gun as we. That's, that's kind of neat. But I'm gonna see if I'm gonna switch out to reticule. Nah, no actual reason, just because I think it's fun. I mean, this thing is quite apt at long ranges. It's crap at shorter due to the lack of ultimates. Grenade out. Crap. A grenade there would have done a lot of damage. I would say all we need to do is hold A, but we need to do a lot more than that, and holding A doesn't seem to be... ...something that's even remotely possible at this point. We are losing objective apples. Crap. I am gonna do another change, actually, and I'm gonna switch down to 3.4 magnification, so it becomes a little more viable in medium range. He's down. Let's see if we can't take his rock.
Damn it! I had hoped that we would just be able to put the air round in the guy's back. But sadly, the guy didn't, wasn't being cooperative on that score. Also, we're losing Alpha, and that is horrible. God fucking damn it! I mean, it counts as a kill, but I don't think it counts as a kill for the only thing that currently matters. To me, so we're gonna switch to the automat trench and be prepared to defend ourselves in close range. A sniper rifle is not gonna do as much, much here. Reloading. Get back. It's kind of awkward that my ambush position was left to shoot a guy who was... Ah. Let's go for River Psalm. It's basically gonna be an even vote anyway. Because people will want to play River Psalm, but they want to be the defenders on it. I'm actually gonna switch my vote to Passchendaele. So... We have a bit of a synergy in the maps that are being played. And I'm also gonna make sure to take a drink. Hey, we were third on our team? Damn! Ah, oh, this music. The German army protested the use of shotguns by U.S. soldiers on the Western Front as unnecessarily brutal. This was World War I. They were using poisonous gas and stuff like that. And... Oh, God. Uh, we're on the attack. Apparently Passchendaele is more more shown to be the battle of attrition as it actually was, with both sides trying to just secure the battlefield. It wasn't even the first battle of the area, it, several battles were, were fought in the area. I can't actually remember, but I think it was part of the battles of the Ypres, but I'm not actually sure. I'm not that good on my World War 1, so... Let's secure Edwards and prepare for the close quarters fighting. This is gonna be rough. So we need about 16 kills left. And the first thing that happened was us getting shot in the face. So David is ours, we'll see if Charlie works for us, or if we need to push in that general direction. Let me just state, this is not a map where the sniper rifle we used earlier would be remotely useful. Or, well, it would be useful, but... It wouldn't be as versatile. Crap. I thought we were actually on the verge of shooting the guy in the face, but the only ones getting it in the face were, was me. Uh, I'm not entirely convinced pushing to B is the best choice, because right now... 
Ah, crap. I can't take proper cover. And I will need to do so if we're gonna live yeah, through this. At least it's not a gas grenade. We are losing objective Dove. <sighs> Sometimes a counterattack is the best way to deal with stuff, but in this case it wasn't. And we are losing Duff and we're losing Echo. Uh, I don't care if we're taking butters because we are losing the big the big real estate here. We're going to lose our supply lines. Our attack will be so less fluid. It's interesting in Battlefield 1 that what was essentially... Grenades. Crap, they saw me. If they hadn't saw me, it would have been a far better option. Now I have no choice but to spawn on Bravo and hope we can hold the attack from all the different directions. We're shooting that guy. Crap! We are completely surrounded. This is not going the way I want it to. At least the assault force is. Uh... We have lost objective, but... Ah, crap! There's probably an enemy at some point around me. We need to take take cover here and we have taken objective Edward. Ah, this is really, really frustrating. I mean, I have this little feeling that I'm uh, closer and closer to my objective, and then uh, stuff like this happens. Oh, I have the bayonet on this one. I really should. Uh, the bayonet is not a good. Take cover. Yeah, we can protect ourselves with the gas. But we couldn't hide ourselves well enough. I'm actually going to switch around some stuff. We're going to take around, take off the bayonet, no magnification, and deploy. I don't want a magnification because I want to see if a more open sight picture will help better in these environments, or if I should just increase navig magnification and they go for tunnel vision instead we have taken objective charlie charlie's out good work and we got shot in the f well back but i think i should be trying to avoid running straight into the entire thing so I'm gonna switch back to the marksman, but I'm gonna reduce my magnification to 2.0 and see how that works out for me. We don't have enough vision for the magnification to be useful at the moment. I mean, the map itself is pretty small. No joy. Got 
kommst du auf die Beine. I think the British are gonna win this one. Yes! Target destroyed. For this camera, ah, crap, yes. That was us. All we need to do now is stay down and be prepared to shoot someone somewhere. Yeah, that was my fault. I was standing up being the, quite an obvious target. And if you know anything about warfare in general, standing up and being a target is generally not a good thing. Uh, we're gonna switch back to the automat automat trench, but we are gonna switch the magnification to 1.2 and see if we can push out from Echo with that. We have lost objective butter. Well, butters is gone. The problem is that I think I'm keen on just rushing into the battles without actually looking my way, because some of the positions... Uh, some of the things that's happened is because I've been rushing without considering that there might be... more to it than what I'm seeing. Oh crap, Airbus Mortar. And a, we got a revive out of that, so it's fine. We have taken objective Charlie. <sighs> I was hoping that they would be blinded by the gas so we could advance through it. However, I was completely and utterly, utterly wrong. Let's see here. Yeah, we're actually doing somewhat better here. We should stay more in cover, but we're fine so far. No, I'm not gonna hold E to ride a horse. <laughs> it's kinda interesting that me and that machine gunner was pretty much having the same idea, and neither of us got any payoff for it. Let's put up some fire. Moving up on the Bellevue line again, I can't pronounce that. I have a terrible sense of deja vu here. But I'm gonna go for A, see if we can't. We just need eight more kills for that new gun. Those eight kills are most likely gonna be the most difficult to get in the entire game. So I think that we're actually going to... We have taken ah, crap, they're behind me. No, they're not. Or are they? I would say it's a high possibility they are indeed behind me. Come on, just rush into my carefully prepared trap and I will be very happy indeed. Halfway there, the enemy has the upper hand. 
I don't actually care if the enemy takes this church because right now <laughs> my objective was actually to try and hold as much as possible and I didn't do that. I'm gonna join my mate here, throw down a pack for him. Sometimes I wish my gun just shot frag grenades. I mean, nothing but frag grenades. At least that would help me more in that situation. At least if it's they detonated an impact. <sighs> That's exactly the point I made earlier. I'm basically so focused on we have lost objective, but where I'm supposed to go that I don't see the environment and then I get shot. But we're actually pushing the enemy back here. We're doing fairly nicely. Enemy have B and A and we're actually they're, well they're securing B right now so this forest is surreal. Horse wounded. I don't know what's causing this, but it's fucking scary. It would be worse if it wasn't a l b bunch of firefights here as well. We managed to destroy explosives, but that's about it. And the enemy is now counterattacking with one of their land ships. Six more. We have lost objective Duff. We lost Duff? Fuck. Let's see if we can't push back Duff or at least get some kills there. Yeah, just like that. Nice. That was pretty much just covering fire. I mean, I didn't expect to actually hit anything with it. But we did, and that's nice. So I'm gonna spawn here and try and attack more along this angle to help relieve our troops. Currently fighting to take Duff back from Echo. I'm fairly certain that our dear enemy are actually expecting such a move though. Or maybe not, because This is a situation where I would actually want, you know, the marksmanship rifle. So we're gonna switch to that one, and we lost the, the objective just child. because of it. So I'm gonna spawn at my land fort here. Or not, not, not really mine, but we're gonna spawn at it. And see if... Yeah, we didn't get him. Fuck. We have taken objective apples. Good, let's go for apples or rather let's go for Echo and see if this last round on Passchendaele has really is really even. if we can't spot more. Let's 
throw a grenade in there. We know he's in there. We didn't get him though. Just a second too late. The shot was away, but we have taken objective butter. I mean, this is a very eerie map. Dice have done well with this one. I think that's a smoke grenade, not a gas grenade. No, it's a gas grenade. Got him. Got another one. Just one more. Crap. Now we'd have to respawn before we can get the next one. Off we go. One more kill. Not our kill. Fuck. Our kill. Nice. Are you serious right now? Ah, come on, that was our kill. He didn't get us, we got him. Let's go for the howl, see how that weapon looks and feels. Uh, no bayonet. Apparently it even has a bipod, that's nice. We go for the magnification and let's put some AA sights on it just because that looks fun. So let's go for the fully automatic Lee Enfield. Can't believe I'm actually saying that. But... Uh, no, no, no. Off we go. I mean, they say this is supposed to be fully automatic, but right now all I'm seeing is semi-automatic. Semi it's like the Reader rifle. The Reader rifle is a semi-automatic Lee Enfield, so... It's very stable though. Kind of interesting with the sights on the side of the gun too. Not really what I expected. I wonder how close by that guy was. Yeah, that didn't work out for us. I'm gonna switch away from the AA sights and see if the ones that comes with a gun are better. That's just regular fashioned iron sights. No, the iron sights are still at the side of the weapon for some ungodly reason. I mean, if they say this is a full auto rifle, they might as well, you know, make it full auto. Let's see what the snipers are getting. Not because I ever think I will be able to get it, but they get an M9 
16, 17, Enfield Infantry or a Ross Mark III Marks. Of course, they ha also have the uh, car beam and stuff like that. Uh, so, let's see here. The Gewehr M95 car beam. We might as well try uh, our luck with that one. For the last. We actually got the kill, but I think we're gonna lose the match anytime soon, any, any, anyway. We can also go for the scout and the Perinto low weight or the MG low weight. I mean. Yeah, it's not going well for us. We, we are going to lose this. There's no way we're going to win this at this time. Fire! Heavy arty, go! On target! And we're not gonna play another game, but hell, that was that was really fun. I mean, the game was, like chat says, very interesting. It was, and the maps are very interesting too. But we're not gonna participate in the second battle of the Psalm. Instead, we are just gonna stop recording. And thanks for, if you actually watched this entire thing, kudos to you.